Oh, hello students. Yes. Today we are glad to have Mr. Chao Chi Sheng, our English teacher, to be our guest mm. to discuss about yes. how to improve English right. by yes. reading. Mm. Well, welcome, Mr. Chao. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm a Form Five student. Uh, actually, actually, I should raise some challenging mm. questions to you. But let's back to basic. <laughs> and my fellows, they think that mm. reading is very boring, and they really interested in it. Okay, I don't think reading is boring. Uh, actually, reading is something we need, especially in a world which is evolving every day. Like the world tomorrow, I'm quite sure, will be quite different from the world today. The best way to keep abreast of the times, I mean, keep pace with the changing times, is to read and read and read. It's only with reading that we can have uh, the constant exposure to the world, and then we can keep pace with it. Uh, I think reading is actually a window by which you can see the world as it, as it is. And uh, if you don't read, you're kind of being narrow-minded, and then uh, you are lagging behind, which is a pity. Yeah, and the globalization the world mm. has become more flat. Yeah. Mm. So, do you have any tips on reading? I think I don't... Actually, I, I think the most important thing is that you have to go for something you're interested in. Uh, interest is of the paramount importance. In Hong Kong, I think we have a problem with uh, the policy of reading. Quite often, teachers dictate agenda. I mean, force our uh, students to read something they think they should be uh, going for, which is something I don't agree with, because everybody is quite different. I don't understand your taste, and you don't understand my either. How can I dictate uh, dictate agenda for you? you? Yeah, you see. So, I don't think we have something which is one size fitting all. Go for something that you like first. So, how to improve our language by reading? Mm. I think, um, obviously, um, books, most of the books are written. Uh, if you peruse, I mean, if you read between the lines, if you peruse every single word, then you get the, 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 the beauty of the language. I will, um, yes, I hate to recommend books, but then if you really want me to recommend books for you, Go for books written by the, I mean, uh, the, the, the celebrated writers, and then uh, I think their quality is assured, it's guaranteed. Yes. So, Mr. Chow, I know you have an iPad. Mm. Uh, is it cool? Is it? I have been using my iPad for quite some time, and I suppose I suppose it's part of my life. And I think uh, actually, uh, iPad is a bargain. Now, why do I say that? Even though your iPad costs you like um, more than five thousand bucks, in the long run, it's going to be a bargain in the sense that with the application that you have, you can download books um, with a very with, with a marvelous price. It's like um, last week I downloaded 500, I'm talking about 500 ebooks, and it cost me only two US dollars. You see, it's really a bargain. So you can try to bring your parents around to buying their iPad for you, convince them with, uh, you know, uh, the in my experience, I'm sure your parents will be amazed at how cheap, how reasonably priced ebooks can be like. Yes. So between real books and virtual books, mm. which would you prefer? All, all depends. Because if I am on a trip overseas, it's obviously um, it's not possible for me to bring along with myself a ship case of books, which is impossible. And in that case, I'm going to bring my iPad with me. But then, but then if I'm lunging at him, Relaxing on the sofa, uh, I would prefer to read the hard copy. I mean, the, the conventional book. Okay. So, um, so thank you, Mr. Chow. Mm. Students, there will be a quiz on the article reading scheme. Uh. Remember to do this, and the winners will uh. be given a book coupon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chow. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs>